You like Hugh's message right no. there? No. No? So I guess because, first of all, Hugh, you should embrace somebody of Snoop's stature yeah. <laughs> actually coming to practice and wanting to talk and wanting to be around your team. Guy, you won, you won, you won two games. You won two games. Come on, Skip. <laughs> you won. So in, since 2015, you no, know, 2016. Mm -hmm. So 2017, they was over. 2016, mm -hmm. they won one. So they won a grand total of what? Three, four games yep. in the last two and a half years. Mm -hmm. And now all of a sudden, you got bandwagon fans? Mm. Really, Hugh? <laughs> so in other words, if fans, if people start to jump on the bandwagon, your guys are not going to work that hard mm -hmm. because you know all of a sudden, y'all are Super Bowl favorites now. Yep. The betting line has moved that y'all up there with the Patriots as far as getting to the Super Bowl. Man, they need to stop with this. You're not the Steelers because outside of Cleveland, the Browns don't even have a national following skip. Mm -hmm. This is not the Steelers. This is not the Cowboys. This is not one of these, these uh, 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 historic franchises. You're the Cleveland Browns. You haven't won in a very, not in a lot of people's mm -hmm. lifetime, in 50 years. Jim Brown won the, what, the title of what, 59 skip? Mm -hmm. So 59 years, the last time you won a title. And you, you upset because someone of Snoop's stature Comes around, guess what? If you didn't want him to come around you, because guess how this works, Jamie? I don't know if you noticed this. Like, when people want to come to practice, it has to be cleared. I can assure you, you know. You could say, nah, nah, nah. Because I've tried to go to some practices, not just in football, but in basketball. They say, nah, 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 we don't, you, we don't want to distract. Okay, fine, cool. Mm -hmm. They want to show up. So that way they can't say we're shouting the bandwagon fan because they said they shut it down. You could have easily sh shut this down. He knew Snoop was a Steelers fan. If you follow Snoop, he's always, especially on Sunday, mm -hmm. he got his Steelers stuff on. He had his, uh, his Long Beach and Little League team, uh, uh, his uh, Pop Warner team, dressed in Steelers colors. Mm -hmm. So we know what Snoop is. But the man was in town uh, for his play, mm -hmm. Return of the dog, for, dog Pound. I think that's the name of it. No, just Return of the Dog. Of a dog. Of a dog. Yeah. He stopped by like I'm into. He's a sports fan, first and foremost, Skip. You know that. Football, basketball, Snoop's there. Well, you know what? Let me stop there. You got one person that somebody's really talking about nationally, Skip, mm -hmm. and that's Baker Mayfield. And Snoop stopped by, you talking about, okay, you know, we're going to circle the wagons. Mm -hmm. What if? So I'm going to say this one more time. Over the years on television, I have applauded and defended Hugh Jackson through many sticky situations that he's been in, starting with the one in Oakland. Mm -hmm. Really believe in him until lately, and he's starting to lose me because he's looking more and more foolish with things he says publicly. And to your point, yeah, Snoop was there to promote his new stage play, and he made a pass. It opens in Cleveland. But if it had opened a year ago, would he have gone out to the Browns facility? I, no, he no. wouldn't have done it because he right. wouldn't want to associate with a loser. Right. But all of a sudden, they're hot because Baker is hot. <laughs> this is strictly Snoop was there because of Baker Mayfield, period, end of story. He wasn't there for Hugh, even though they crossed paths, I'm assuming, at USC when you mm -hmm. was coach there. And obviously, probably Snoop's the Raiders. USC, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe, but probably USC. Mm -hmm. But to your point, Snoop is a huge Steelers fan. And he went out of his way to visit the practice of a division rival. Thank you. And fire up the dog pound. And, you know, it's, I'm sure there's some Steeler fans who are not real pleased with this. Right. But Snoop wants to associate with winners, and he needed to promote. And it was a good look for him, and it was a great look for the Cleveland Browns yeah. to have Snoop at practice. And I believe that hard knocks ruined Hugh Jackson because day after day, through the weeks of hard knocks, he got pressed to make bolder and bolder statements because he was competing with two def uh, an offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator, his two sort of assistant head coaches, who are former head coaches who have big personalities, mm -hmm. big charisma. They're big, bold talkers. And it, for a while, it looked like Greg Williams and then Todd Haley were taking over hard knocks. And remember, you would have to say, no, I'm the head coach. He would have to revalidate his authority by making a big, bold statement to the media. And all I know is it was clear through hard knocks he didn't even give Baker Mayfield a chance to compete for the starting job with Tyrod Taylor. Not even a chance. And then the, the most embarrassing scene in the history of hard knocks is when he called in Baker and Drew Stanton and said, Baker, I'm happy to inform you, you won the backup job. Like it was a big deal, a you big won. announcement on hard knocks. Big really? Big deal. And, and I was... I appreciated Baker not laughing in his face because Baker just rolled with the – he knew the camera. Yeah, he beat out Drew Stanton. He, he beat out Drew Stanton for number two. 
Really? You're the first pick in the draft, and he congratulated you for being the yeah. backup quarterback mm -hmm. and didn't ever even give you a chance with the ones to win the job? And then you backed into the job just because Tyrod got hurt. And then what happened after the huge late in the first half and second half that Baker played on that Thursday night game? Mm -hmm. Hugh says after the game to the media, what was his opening statement? Told you so. <laughs> you told you told us nothing. <laughs> you look like a fool. You you do because you 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 didn't even give this kid a chance. Ask him why you surprised. We yeah. see this all the time in practice. We, we see this all the time. Well, then, <laughs> why didn't you play him? Again, I'm pounding the table. You got to play Baker yeah. Mayfield. So it's it's like Hugh got caught up in that and he's trying to reassert his authority. And I don't know. Did John Dorsey? Maybe I should. Maybe he was you know, complicit in this. Maybe it was John Dorsey's idea not to start Baker Mayfield. I don't know. But Hugh said it was his idea, and he stood by it. And now he's saying, we, we want to circle the wagon. W wait a second. You, you, Dude, you won two games. You, but, but time out. You're the reason, Hugh, that your team is at 5-0. and oh, Because they would have won the first two games with Baker Mayfield. You okay. say, how do you know? But I just know they would have won the first two. And then they got robbed, flat-out robbed, late in the game in Oakland in regulation. Well, they got robbed they in that. New Orleans, too. Two PATs, Skip, yeah, and two okay. field goals. Right. Well, you can argue, but I think Baker would have just taken the game over in both cases. So, whatever. Th this could be a 5-0 and o team. But, but Hugh helped wreck the bandwagon. And then, as Baker started to rebuild the bandwagon, he says, we don't want anybody on our bandwagon? So, what are you saying to Cleveland fans? Mm. Stay away? It's us. It's, it's just us. Just us? Really? Because think about well, it. What you, we're, ta we're, we're talking about the – would we have talked about the Browns today had Snoop not Snow showed up to practice? We're talking about them. I mean, they have a fascinating game. But it's, we weren't talking about them today until no, Snoop came. No. Come on, dude. Embrace it. If your team, if your team is that unfocused mm -hmm. that a celebrity showing up to practice would make them lose focus, mm -hmm. well, you weren't going to do anything anyway. You're not going anywhere anyway. Because mm. guys, I've been around team, Skip, and we have celebrities come. Oh, man, look who that is. Such and such. Oh, yeah. You mm. go back to doing your job. Yeah. Sure. You've seen it a lot. Yes. Yeah. I can assure yeah. you. Guess what? Entertainers, when they're at concert and somebody's backstage, they're like, oh, look at that. Ah, such and such. That's LeBron James. Mm. Probably at a Beyonce concert or a Jay-Z concert. Oh, that's such and such. That's such. Mm. Do they lose? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can be able to go out here today. I don't know if I can go out here and entertain these 30,000 fans screaming. I don't know what I'm going to do. Where, where were you when I didn't have a number one hit? Mm. Well, what do you think he was worried about? That, that all the attention is going to go to their head? The fact that we're talking about him on national... Dude, you won three games in two and a half years. Good. What? Hey, <laughs> the, 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 it shouldn't even be, shouldn't be in your big toe. Yeah. All, 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 everything should be in your big toe. Get to your head. That's way. That's, that's too far away. Baker Mayfield is saving Hughes' job. He should embrace this. He should trumpet it. He should say, come one, come all. Yes. W what did he say to Des Bryant on Hard Knocks? This is going to be the greatest turnaround in NFL history. Didn't he say that? Yes. Okay. So? Without you. Well, now it's without Des. It sounds like he's trying to recruit him. I, I don't know what happened. So, in the end, Shannon Sharp's Super Bowl pick is now visiting the Browns. His AFC pick... And that was the last team they beat before they won these two games this uh -huh. year. Uh -huh. In 20, what, 2016. Yeah. yeah. They beat, last game of the season, they beat the uh, San Diego. I mean, I, this L.A. I got the bandwagon. I'm picking the Browns. I'm on it. You got Chargers. Yeah? Yep. I got old Phillip. Yeah? Rivers bro blows in. Really? Yep. River rolls in? Yep. Okay. Yep. <laughs> well, uh, the, if the Cleveland defense shows up like it did this against the Ravens, I got this. Isn't it Lake Erie, isn't Lake Erie over there by him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Mistake on the lake is what they used yeah. to call these, these guys, yeah. right? River's bigger, though. Uh, okay. Bigger than Lake Erie. River's is bigger yep. than Lake Erie? I think Nile I, River. I don't think the so. The Missouri River. The Colorado mm. River. Mm. Which one's bigger, Skip Bayless? You, you, you might need the Amazon this time. <laughs> or the Nile. <laughs> <laughs>